Good morning, students. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Harpreet Kaur from Khalsa College, Patiala, and I am uh, here to uh, tell you about uh, some uh, something about importance and scope of horticulture. Uh, and this lecture is basically for the B.Sc. Agriculture students, uh, Part Two students. Now, first of all, uh, what is the history of uh, uh, horticulture? Uh, in case of uh, uh, horticulture, the fruit cultivation is as old as civilization. Fruits uh, have their reference in Vedas, Puranas and Upanishads. Oldest fruit is said to be the date palm as its reference date back to 7000 BC. And then next fruit uh, uh, is pomegranate, then grapes, mango, banana, coconut, peach and almonds. And also the first book exclusively on the uh, lychee cultivation was published in China uh, in uh, 1056 AD. Also Akbar planted 1 lakh plants of the fruit trees at uh, uh, Bihar which is called as a lark bog and which is also referred in a book called Ain e Akbari. Mughals also established Mughal gardens. In Himachal Pradesh, Major, uh, Major Bannon and Captain Lee, they are the first to plant the apple orchards in Kulu Valley. Now, uh, the, in case of present status of horticulture, uh, a person should consume at least 120 grams of fruits per day as per Indian Council of Medical Research. But the consumption of fruits per capita in India is still low. However, the availability of fruit is 172 grams per day in our country and in uh, some countries like Italy, France, USA, the consumption is uh, 308, uh, 232 and 223 grams per day respectively. Presently, the horticulture sector contributes uh, about 31% of the GDP and 38% of the total export of agricultural commodities from around 14% of area. India is the second largest producer in the world and presently total area under fruit crop is 86,673 hectares and total production is 18,50,259 metric ton in Punjab. Uh, in Punjab, major fruits which are grown are uh, kinu, guava, mango, pear, sweet orange, lychee, peach, bear and some of the minor fruits are also grown in the region which are limes, lemon, amla, grapes, plum, banana, pomegranate, palsa, spotta, papaya, etc. And uh, Himachal Pradesh is predominantly the horticultural state which uh, uh, has been a unique potentialities of growing temperate and subtropical fruits. Now importance of horticulture. Uh, horticulture has a very unique importance in our daily life uh, because uh, it is an uh, uh, important uh, uh, diet for the human health development. Also different types of vitamins and minerals are available from the fruits. Uh, uh, horticulture has also a medicinal value. It also increases uh, food production per unit area, income generating per unit cap uh, area and it also create em uh, employment opportunities, utilization of fellow land, uh, then the source of timber and fuel and it also create opportunities for earning foreign currency. Now the branches of horticulture. Horticulture is an important part of agriculture, we all know about that. And there are different branches for the horticulture. Number uh, one is the pomology. The word pomology is derived from the Latin word pomum. Pomum means fruit and logos means study. So the science and the practice of fruit growing or the techniques of fruit production is called pomology. Botanically, uh, fruit is a fertilized and developed ovary. But in some cases, fruit form, fruit uh, develops without fertilization and even without pollination and such type of fruits are called parthenocarpic fruits. Now second uh, uh, branch of the horticulture is olariculture. 
this term is derived from latin word and it deals with the study of vegetable cultivation then floriculture floriculture is the flower cultivation and it deals with the study of flower and the uh, uh, landscaping and branches of and it is also a branch of horticulture the next branch of horticulture is post harvest technology this is a very important branch of horticulture which deals with the principle and practices of handling packaging and processing of the harvested crops to increase the storage life and availability uh, and most of the horticultural crops they are reproduced by asexual means of plant propagation asexual means uh, by dividing and separating from their mother plant parts horticulture also includes the production and the use of plants for the food comfort and beautification these are uh, some of the post harvest uh, uh, processed products which are available in market now the importance of fruits in human diet we all know that human body requires vitamins minerals proteins energy for their uh, health all these uh, are available by the horticultural crops fruits and vegetables are the chief source of vitamins minerals carbohydrates fats proteins etc and they are recognized as a protective food because they are necessary for the maintenance of human health and deficiency of any of the mineral and the nutrient by the human body uh, gives a very typical symptoms now the scope of horticulture for providing employment uh, there is a very vast scope of uh, horticulture such as the vegetable and flower seed production for the export purpose then for cut flower production landscaping then nursery raising tissue culture marketing then processing of the horticultural produce then government development departments and in research and education now there are various factors which affects the scope of horticultural crops in india uh, for example uh, number one is that uh, uh, there is a varied agroclimatic conditions in india which allows various horticultural crops in different regions also increasing irrigation facilities gives a vast scope for growing and transporting the horticultural crop which has a greater demand in the market there is also an important scope to export fresh and processed food products then horticultural farming in india uh, india uh, develops a natural resource which gives a higher return from the land and it also increases the land value and uh, and gives a better purchasing power among the people the scope of business development in the horticulture is developing day by day in india but there are some limitations or the problems of the food productions also uh, that is uh, uh, first limitation is that there is a high initial investment uh, then non availability of quality planting materials there is a long juvenile period also then uh, we know that uh, fruits are perishable in nature and also there are lack of processing units which are available in punjab or even in india then lack of proper storage and transportation facilities uh, and then it makes the fruits uh, in bad conditions and which are not available uh, for the pro uh, for the processing industry then low purchasing power of the people is another disadvantage of the limitation of the food production so this is all about the importance scope and uh, some opportunities available in the market uh, which uh, uh, gives a very uh, unique advantage of studying horticulture so uh, this is all about the horticulture practices thank you so much